Hi guys, a uh, bit of spring cleaning I would say. This is my old uh, South Bend 9 and uh, I bought it two years ago almost now and I never actually refurbished it. The, uh, you know the drill you get it in and mount it up and away you go and I thought it was about time to uh, do it. I guess uh, Phil from Phil's project with his Graziano uh, got me uh, motivated to do this. So thanks, Phil. I'm uh, sort of doing this in bits and pieces because I don't have a lot of time. So I'm not sure how much of this I'll film, but today I'm going to remove the lead screw and the apron off the saddle and the cross slide. I've already taken off the compound and it's in a cleaning solution and I've removed the banjo and some of the gears and they're being uh, soaked right now. So I guess first things first uh, we'll take off the lead screw. I've never done this on or any of this stuff on a South Bend. I've done it on another lathe before and a few other machines like it but uh, never on a machine this old I bought the kit, all the new felts to go in for all the oiling uh, system, and I guess I'm going to have to buy a new uh, nut for the compound, I mean the cross slide. We'll see. Um, it uh, has a bit of play, and I'll show you, I think, why. that It wasn't apparent when I first bought it, but I'll show you in a minute. carriage over there but because I'm trying to film it so in here uh, I guess I have to replace the, uh, the felt in there I learned that the lead screw uh, looks pretty decent there's no uh, visible damage to it so that's a good sign spanner wrench to take this off and it's very tight I've tried some other methods I have every other size of pin wrench but this one of course so I'm not going to disassemble that we're going to remove the carriage I mean the cross slide and leave this intact for now until I get the proper wrench because I don't want to foul it up so I remove the carriage lock lock all right let's see what we have a lot of junk in there that's for sure it's quite dirty and uh, I'll have to clean that up there's a little bit of play on the uh, half nuts too so that's probably quite a bit more expensive to replace so I'm not sure if it's warranted but there is definitely a lot of crap in there so the old guy might have been using uh, compressed air to get it out or to get the chips uh, off the top but it jams everything underneath but the gears look pretty good so I guess we're okay for that we'll just stick it in the solvent for now. Put these over 
there. No. I'll show you what I mean by what could have been a trick played on me. <laughs> Here's the nut for the crossfeed. This had virtually no play or no backlash when I bought it. But the first time I used the taper attachment, you have to remove this screw. And I suspect you might have tightened this before putting on the cross slide, and it was slightly skewed, so it took up the uh, slack. So when I loosened it, I got like uh, 20 thou of uh, backlash all of a sudden. So I was like, wow. So I'm figuring it's because he had tightened it and then put it on or skewed it somehow to take up the backlash. So whether for his own purpose or was it to sell the lathe. Anyways. I can always get a new one or make a new one. It needs a left hand thread though, so I have tons and tons of different Acme taps in the left and right hand, so if I have the right one, I'm going to make my own. But if not, it's uh, something like 45 bucks to get, a, get one, so it might be easier just to do that. Saddle comes off by loosening two bolts underneath here. If I can just get them. That's the Gibbs plate, and, or not the Gibbs plate, the uh, bracket underneath, whatever you call it. Maybe there's a Gibbs plate, but there's no Gibb. <laughs> but look at that shit. That's amazing. Looks like uh, brass and copper. And the old guy did uh, a lot of work on cars, so maybe. There we go. So this looks uh, in good shape, but really dirty. So that was fun. Now here, see I need a pin spanner wrench to uh, engage with that hole. I have like stuff like that for two inch shafting and that, but this is just under, this is about 90 thou, this uh, diameter here. So I don't have anything that small. I'm gonna order one probably from uh, fast and all but with my work it's hard to get there during the hours that they're uh, open and uh, I think they have to bring it in from the states so that's a real bummer or I could order it online but there's another shipping charges and all that other shit you know, for a headstock I took out the uh, shims here, and they're the original shims, so I'm getting a little bit of play in there, well, about 5 thou. So, I have to adjust that, and fortunately this is an underslung machine, so I can't put on a, a serpentine belt without cutting it, so I'm still probably going to try that though. But this, this whole leather one has served me well so far. And whether I buy uh, the uh, take up bearings here, I don't know. I don't have a lot of free cash to uh, play around with. So when I open this up, uh, I'll probably uh, show removing the spindle. So that's it for tonight, guys. And uh, 
Well, one word of advice. Don't use solvent in the house. Uh, the wife, they don't really uh, understand and appreciate the smell of uh, degreaser and uh, carburetor cleaner or whatever, brake cleaner. I got in royal shit last night for uh, doing this after hours, so I've been cleaning parts outside because it keeps, uh, keeps the woman happy. So, till next time guys, take care and don't play safe. Hi guys, I know I signed off, but uh, now that my hands are washed, I thought I'd show you this book. As you can see, it's the renovation guide to the South Bend 9 ABC and the Model 10K. It's uh, quite in depth, step by step, lots of pictures. So if you're embarking on taking your lathe apart and hopefully getting it back together, this is well worth the, I don't know, something like $30. And it also uh, lets your wife know what you're up to, why the, the house stinks so bad from your uh, solvent and whatnot. And earlier I referred to this locking collar here as 90 thou. Before you guys uh, start giving me messages saying uh, I made a mistake, okay, this is 935 thou. So, uh, don't give me grief and it's almost 24 millimeters all the surfaces look pretty good in here now that it's uh, semi clean I didn't clean it really well because until I get this out there's not much point point. and if I can get time off work to go get the wrench I'll go get it <laughs> hopefully this week so that's it for now for real so until next time, don't play safe.